where's my slicer at? I already lost it. Slicing dice? Mm. I got always Andy as my cameraman. Put me in the video, bro. In the video. Oh, yeah, okay. All right. Um. <clears throat> oh, here it is. What do you think about that? 200 amp hours. What do you think about that? That's a big ass ball. Yeah, I forgot I'm recording. Ready? Yep. Ah! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jeez. Okay, and then this is the printout they give you for the test information. So as you can see, that's what the that's what the battery did. It did it all by itself. <laughs> <laughs> it did it all by itself. <laughs> Let me see this. Oh. Two volts sport. Or I'm sorry, 640 watt hours. Sino Coley. Is that what it says? <laughs> it's it's Sino Poly. Oh, Sino Coley. What the hell that's is that? A P. That? Yeah. Like a C. This is heavy. Mm. That's yeah. impressive, right? That's gonna make a hell of a battery. Yeah. yeah. So I bought eight of these. 40 watt hours? Yeah. That's impressive. I think the little M12 4Os are like 40 watt hours. Huh? This is like 640 watt hours. I think I wanna, I think I wanna uh, power my remote with this and everything. These are handsome. This is going on the cart or is Hey guys. Just wanted to show off my new cells I just got in the mail today. These are Sino Poly 200 amp hour cells, 3.2 volts, lithium iron phosphate. I got these on battery hookup. I think I paid about $100 a cell and I have eight of them. So I've only received six so far. So I'm gonna get the ones I have out of the box and kind of lay them all out here. And then we're gonna start building a battery with it. And I'm gonna show you guys every step of the way, you know, kind of as we build this battery. All right, so here's how they come packaged. Here's how the cells come packaged from battery hookup. And then I'll show you guys what it looks like once you unwrap it, because I thought this was kind of cool. Um, let's see, I'm gonna do this right here myself. So here's the really cool part. So good on battery hookup for them. Let's check this out. It gives you, they have the report here for the cell. So each cell they ship you has this report. Each, set, each, shell, each cell they ship you has the report and it tells you exactly how much capacity it pulled. So it looks like this one did uh, 186 amp hours. At, uh, yeah, so 600 watt hours. So uh, these cells are used. However, they test all the cells and they make sure they pull damn near full capacity. So like I said, I'm super, super, super excited to have these. These are the biggest cells I've ever bought. And uh, that's it, I'm super happy. And they look like they have really beefy terminals and you know, it should be pretty simple to connect a bunch of these together. And I'm going to make a 2P4S battery and we're going to connect the DALI 250 amp BMS. I did a video unboxing that if you haven't seen that already and that's it. Like I said, I'm going to show you guys the whole process and what I plan on doing with these cells. Hey guys, welcome back to Mike Builds. I have some awesome batteries. Just got these in the mail. I bought these Sino Poly. They're used from battery hookup. They're 200 amp hour rated. I bought the ones that are rated from 90 to 99%. Each cell came very well packaged in foam packaging. They came in two separate packages, three, three, and two. So here's my plan. We're gonna do two P4S battery with this. So these are gonna be grouped into groups of two for the parallel setups to give us 400 amp hours at 13.2 volts. And if we do some math, approximately 5,200 watt hours. So this battery alone, when I'm done building it, will have nearly the same capacity as all my other batteries on all my other systems combined. So this is gonna be my main big battery. And then those other batteries, I'm gonna break up into smaller groups and do something else with. But for right now, we got these. And then I'll show you the BMS we're gonna hook up to it. All right, guys, before we go any further, I'm gonna try to make some sort of box to mount the cells, and these are really heavy. I don't wanna just set them down and forget them. So I'm gonna try to use some scrap what I have to build a cool little box and kind of see what I can come up with. 
All right, guys, here's kind of a rough mock-up of what I'm thinking. I got the rest of the pieces cut to put the sides on. I just hope I'm cutting right. And then if I need to put any compression into these cells, I can slide a little piece of spacer material. Some of these cells have a little bit of a bulge, like a teeny tiny bit of a bulge. Um, I'm not going to try my, like actually go out of my way to compress these, but I do want them to fit a little tight in this case because when it's mounted to our final whatever, I don't want it, you know, moving around and stuff. And then hopefully when I have my side on here, it'll give me room to mount the BMS. So this should be a pretty clean setup when we're done. All right. So the box is three quarters of the way done. I have the last piece right here. I'm gonna go ahead and load all the cells in. I'm gonna do it here because how heavy this thing is. And then the last bit of, there's uh, the cells poke out a little bit more. So I need to like fine tune how tight to put them. I'm gonna go ahead and load them all up in this thing. So this is the new power station we're gonna end up building, but that's gonna be on a separate video. Just for right now, we're only gonna be focusing on the build battery. So that way I can parallel the two in the middle. That's it, all eight. Now I gotta get the lid, put the lid on right here. But yeah, check that out, guys. That's five kilowatt hours right there. Super awesome. Hey guys, Mike Builds back at you with another video. I think when we left off on our last video, we had this box built and then we have this garden cart I got at Harbor Freight. It's really sturdy, the only reason I went with that is because how freaking uh, sturdy it is and I'll be able to kind of build this as a good base. If I need to like make a upper deck or something like that, I can. But in this video, we're gonna go ahead and get all the cells loaded in. We're gonna get our DALI 250 amp BMS. We're gonna get that slapped on. We're gonna get the balancing wired up and then we're gonna verify we have voltage. And after that, we gotta charge it because I don't know what the state of charge of these cells in. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Negative, positive. Oh, hopefully this is the final time I gotta move these. All right, last battery loaded. I can do something like that, would be good. Fortunately, the dally part's gonna be upside down because my main negative is up here, but that's okay. Okay. Oh yeah, this is a temp sensor. I don't think I ever said that. I gotta get better at making these videos. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I don't wanna work anymore. Not for someone, I wanna work for myself. And I hope one day I can achieve my goal and build batteries and do all kinds of fun stuff. Bam. All right. So that's it, the BMS is now mounted. Now I gotta put all the bus bars, connect that right there, put the balancer on, and then this battery is pretty much complete. All right, gang. BMS is mounted. All the connections are good. Anderson power bowl. The only thing left to do is hot glue this right here. So I'll do that probably later or never. And I'm gonna get my phone to show you guys the voltage and all that. I think I love these uh, Bluetooth BMSs. If you guys aren't using them, you should get one. So I haven't calibrated the SOC yet. I gotta fully charge this battery. And then there's our cell voltages. So not too bad.